Remember to subscribe and hit the notification button to keep up to date with our latest videos. RSX, okay, straight out of the box. Right now, it's making 250 horsepower at the front wheels, 190 foot pounds of torque at the front wheels. Let's go for a drive and see what VTEC is all about. Obviously, the Acura RSX, uh, or the Honda Integra, as it was known in Japan, is the, uh, well, here in North America, the RSX is the successor to the Integra, which obviously Integra Type R is world-renowned for its track capabilities, uh, its race capabilities, and just an all-out performance monster in terms of front-wheel drive platform. So, now we're in the RSX, which personally I think is an awesome-looking car. Uh, and Kit has modified this car to a very high standard, to be completely honest, okay? K24 bottom end, a K20 top end, uh, and, you know, CP pistons. This is a fully built engine, uh, and it revs to 9,000 RPM. Red li rev limiter is like 9,300 RPM, I think. Um, so we're basically just going to go for a drive. This is the first modified Honda we've ever had on the show. You know, Honda, Honda gets a bad rap. Honda gets a very bad rap in the car community. Sometimes for good reason, other times not so much, right? So basically what Kit was telling me is the idea behind this car is kind of like on the outside, you've got a bunch of stickers and everything. It kind of looks like a ricer. It's really loud and you would think pulling up to this car at a light, okay, this guy's just gonna try to rev the shit out of his Honda off the rev limiter and he's gonna go nowhere. Well, no, this thing traps 105 miles an hour in the quarter. There's VTEC. Into fourth. <laughs> it's very fast. These cars weigh 2,600 pounds from the factory, okay? 200 pounds lighter than my MR2, which is a smaller car than this. Very light car combined with a extremely high revving NA four-cylinder engine, front-wheel drive, a balanced platform, and a six-speed manual uh, is a great combination when you're talking about a street car. It can be used as a daily, but you know, Kit brings this to the drag strip. Actually, it's on temporary permits right now because uh, he was at the drag strip yesterday or last night. And that's when he ran those numbers, uh, 105 miles an hour in the quarter. So I mean, this is this is built for straight line essentially. If you look at the dyno graph, and I'll show it on the screen now, you can see the torque curve is essentially very flat from 3,000 RPM. Uh, all the way up to 9,000. Power does not dip, power does not spike, it just, it 
peaks at like 9,000 RPM, which is awesome. 9,000 RPM, I don't give a crap if you're making, if you're making as little horsepower as the Honda Beat we filmed that revved to something like 12,000 RPM, it doesn't matter, just revving that high makes a driving experience so much more exciting. All right, you guys, what is going on? Welcome. Kit, thanks for bringing out your car. No problem. Appreciate it. You guys, okay, uh, Kit is actually one of the guys that I used to cruise around with and go to car meets with a few other guys. I've seen your Civic. I saw your F-Body Camaro when you had that uh, for a very brief moment of time. Uh, and I had my Honda when I met Kit. Uh, and now you've actually, you've built like something insane. Yep. Do you want to okay. pop the hood? Yeah, no problem. All right, let's do it. But yeah, what is what are like the main things under the hood? What's been done? Um, it's got the K24 bottom end yep. from a TSX. It's got a K20A top end. Um, it's got really high aggressive compression pistons, 13 to one uh, CP pistons. It's got uh, really big, heavy cams, stage yep. three cams with 13 millimeter lift. So it's insane. Yeah. It's almost a muscle car type of lift. Yeah. Um, basically, from that, it's done up basically nothing under the engine is stock inside the engine mm -hmm. everything's been forged everything's been ported uh 80 mil throttle body the throttle response like you felt is insane probably the t like touchiest throttle mm -hmm. i've ever felt in any car like very very close it's it's right there like good throttle response is one thing but good throttle response mated to a proper na engine is unbeatable coming out of a corner that's another thing it's na <laughs> It's all, all yep. NA power, no, not, it's all natural aspirator, no turbo, no supercharger. Right. It's a lot more money than a turbo build, actually S similar, but you right. gotta worry about more things because it's a high rev and you gotta worry about lifters, your cams, your Valve valves, springs, springs yeah. everything. So everything needed to be upgraded and... And you said, what was your fastest trap speed? 105.4 miles an hour. 105 miles an hour, which is very respectable. Like, that's why I'm so happy we got your car out and got it out mm -hmm. on the shoot. Because this is like, if you want to drive a Honda, it's got to be VTEC and it's got to be, I mean, like, big cams, mm -hmm. 9,000 RPM. No traction. No, there's no traction. That's, that's the one thing is your limiting factor mainly is the mm -hmm. tires. And the torque steer, Honda torque steer. Because yeah, Honda of torque steer. The yeah. amount of torque. 190 foot pounds of torque. Yeah. At the and wheels. at the wheels yep. and uh, 250 to the wheels horsepower, yep. about 300 to the crank, I'd say. VTEC is legit. Anything below 4,000 in this is you don't really want to be there. You know, the torque is super nice around four to five. Uh, and it carries, the power just keeps carrying. So by the time you're in fourth gear, the top of fourth, uh, you're going very fast and Kit does not have to shift into fifth at the end of the quarter mile like my MR2 does. I don't know, this is just, it's very raw, it's very loud uh, and it's got a lot of character. I love the steering wheel here. He's got a bunch of uh, interior modifications as well that he's done to kind of make this into the Honda Integra, right? So it does have a bunch of JDM parts on it and obviously with a built engine, it's kind of a step above anything Honda sold uh, at the time, like in this platform, right? That's so addicting. Really good brakes. Really good brakes. When you can tune a Honda to have a flat torque curve from 2800 RPM all the way to 9000, that's when you get a drivable Honda uh, that isn't just all, like it is all top end still, but like 4000 RPM, it's just, it just really makes use of the fact that the engine is NA still, right? One of my favorite things about this car, uh, like Honda just gets this right, they get driving like ergonomics, I guess you could say, on the interior of the car. The shifter's in a great spot. It's not too low, it's not too high. It's very close to the wheel. Clutch pedal and everything, like it's very easy to rev match the car. I've been driving for maybe half an hour. It's very easy. Throttle response in this is very nice. It's got an 80 millimeter throttle body uh, and basically all the supporting mods. So if Kit really wants, he can squeeze a lot more power out of this. Uh, especially dialing in uh, like that camshaft and everything or going E85 meth. The possibilities are really endless. Uh, 
But what I, what I was going to say about the interior, the gauge cluster, fantastic. Black background, so it blends in with the rest, and it just looks like there's a big tack and a big speedo just in the middle of your dash. It's not like a separate kind of gauge cluster. It's really cool. Uh, and same with the center console here. All of the uh, HVAC is all on the top. Very easy to use and recognize everything. Like it's a daily driver vehicle uh, that you can make like Kit has done into kind of a street car that also is good for the drag strip. Uh, the exterior wise, it's basically almost factory except for the headlights are the A-spec headlights. Uh, it's got the A-spec lip. Uh, west side bump, uh, side skirts I believe they're called. And then the rear bumper is all the Type R wing and then it's got the lip wing as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically just a thing I was like, let's keep two wings. Um, the way I'm looking at it right now, motor's done. Yep. I don't have to touch it anymore. Maybe a little bit of touch uh, here and there, finicky stuff. A lot of people are telling me to switch to 85 and boost it. I could do that too. Yeah. High compression boost. But for now, it's just going to stay like this, NA. And I'll have my fun with it. As That's the shirt dope. says, I'll probably have to repeat. And when I repeat, <laughs> it's going to be boosted. What I like is like interior is still stock. Yeah. So it surprises people. Mm -hmm. it's, mm -hmm. it's the main factor. Like I'm going for the sleeper look. Yeah. So I look nicer from the outside <laughs> and have a beast in the inside. Yeah. So the name should be Beauty and the Beast. Hey, I like that. Beauty and the Beast. Oh, that's dope. Steering wheel is Civic Type R steering wheel. Uh, it's got the EP3 seats, the Type R EP3 seats. So they're uh, basically the R6 came with leather bucket seats and when I used to drive in that and I used to take corners I used to slide back and forth in them oh, it's yeah. like cloth what could be cloth on top of that uh, it's got a really short shifter as you felt yep it's click 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 very done. quick mm -hmm. yeah. there we go 15 kilometers an hour. Wow, kid, those, I gotta give it to you, man. You have brakes that match your power. That, those are confidence. All I need is confidence in a brake pedal. And then, you know, you can rev it out as far as you want uh, and it'll be totally fine. So props to you, Kit, for actually doing a complete build. Kit did the engine, he built the engine, and now he's gonna go ahead and wrap the car. He's gonna finish the exterior. He's gonna finish the interior. Um, get proper tires, I hope, Kit. Uh, and from there, the op or like the possibilities with this car are endless. You can do a lot of things with an RSX. Very respectable car again. It does not like first gear. Whoa. Revving it. I'm gonna shut her down right there. <laughs> and you can still see below the rear wing in the back. It's it's the Type R wing from Japan, and you can see directly below it. It's great. Thank you so much, Kit, for bringing out your car. I really appreciate this. Uh, hopefully, we can do another episode on it. He's got like the wrap and stuff. Go follow Kit on Instagram. It's uh, right here and in the description. You can follow Roads and Travel on Instagram, of course, Facebook. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, if you're around Vancouver, hit me up with what cars you have. Uh, or yeah, if you want to promote your business, you've got a car for me to drive, let me know. We'll do an episode. Uh, it'll be great. Have a good one, you guys.